Alrighty, time for another edition of Science Sunday. Of course, we're here at the Connecticut Science Center and joined by Eva Ryle. Good morning. Good morning. All right, here at the Science Center, you guys are always doing live science. Mm -hmm. It's what makes it, you guys, so cool. It's like our like, favorite thing. Yeah. You do it all the time. So we're going to do some live science this morning. Yeah, all I right. thought I'd just do a fun experiment with you, um, and I want you to write with electricity today. Oh, that sounds like a fun challenge task. Yeah. Yeah. Maybe not a way we normally write. No, no. <laughs> so we're going to do that um, by using electrolysis, which okay. is a way that we can kind of force a chemical reaction to happen using electricity. All right. That's where the electro part in the beginning comes from. Um, so I have this wonderful kind of dirty dishwasher looking solution <laughs> here. Uh, it's a mixture of starch, uh, potassium iodide, and phenolphthalein. So there's some indicators. They'll change color in different solutions. All right. Um, it's a little hint as to what might happen. <laughs> so in our pan here, our aluminum pan, and that aluminum, that metal will be important later. I have a piece of filter paper that I've already soaked in this um, solution. All right. And then I'm going to put in a piece of, this is just regular printer paper. All right. And I'm going to soak that as well in our lovely looking solution. <laughs> <laughs> going to make a mess, right? Of course. I mean, it's science. We can yeah. get a little dirty. There we go. All right. All right. And then we're going to do one last layer of our filter paper again. Make a little sandwich. So and it's filter paper, regular like copy paper, mm -hmm. and then more filter And then paper. more filter paper. And again, in here, it's starch, potassium iodide, and phenolphthalein. All right. Okay. So now um, we have our chemical part, our chemical reaction. We need our electricity part. So I feel like I have a pen right here. <laughs> you do. Um, maybe a little bit different than a pen we're used to. But that's copper wire that our electricity is going to flow through. All right. And I put it through a pipette just so you have something to hold on to and you don't have to hold copper wire that electricity like is going through. Pipette stylus. Yeah. Yeah. All right. So now we got to hook up to our power source. You're going to hook one end up to the aluminum pan. All right. And good to go there. And one end to the copper. And our right. electricity is going to flow through one of those metals, through our solution here, through the other metal. So go ahead. Oh, look at that. Isn't that cool? Oh, STEM. <laughs> How appropriate. <laughs> All right, now it's kind of boring in one color. Do you want to try another color? Can we do another color? We absolutely can. How would we do another color? We just have to change the direction of the reaction. Oh. So in order to do that, you're going to flip your leads around. OK, so I'm going to take this lead yep. down here. You got this it. This one. So our electrons flow from the negative end. And so we're changing the direction that electricity is flowing through our metals and our solution. Oh. <laughs> There you go. Not the best penmanship when I'm working <laughs> I mean, at an angle like this. Wow. So, yeah, stark difference. Isn't that amazing? Yeah. Yeah. So, I don't know if anyone ever asks you if you've written with electricity. <laughs> I can now say I have. Yeah. So, just to kind of summarize why the, uh, I mean, we, we have filter paper, we've got copy paper, mm -hmm. we've got your solution, and mm -hmm. then we've got this fun stylus. Uh, what, what was the reaction taking place? Yeah, so there's a chemical reaction happening um, between that potassium iodide. Um, we're actually, one direction of this reaction, we're creating iodine, and that's reacting um, with the starch to give us that color. The other way around, we're actually um, causing an electrolysis of water. Okay. You're making hydroxide, which reacts with the phenolphthalein and gives us that beautiful pink color. So it um, is a chemical reaction that happens because we are pumping electricity through, um, through those chemicals. I think for this, you should get a STEM award. Oh, thank you. Yeah. You know, you could nominate me for that. Oh, really? <laughs> yeah. How does that work? So all you have to do to nominate someone um, who, you know, you think is worthy of a STEM Achievement Award is go on our website and you can nominate them. And there's a bunch of different categories. Mm -hmm. uh, so it's important to go check those out, ctsciencecenter.org. And mm -hmm. the nomination process is open basically through the, like, uh, May 24th. May so 24th. almost two months, yeah. almost, yeah. Yeah, so we love honoring people who um, use STEM to help their community um, and, you know, help people around them. Them. So help us, you know, honor someone that you know. Excellent. Wonderful. All right, Aoife, thank you so much. And of course, we'll see you for another edition of Science Sunday next weekend.